My first guest tonight is an Emmy-nominated actor. He stars in This Is Us, which airs Tuesdays at 9 p.m. on NBC. Everyone, please welcome Milo Ventimiglia! Come on! <laughs> Look at you, there. that's what I'm talking about. See? What's up, man? Come on, buddy. I appreciate you coming back to the show. Last time you were on the show, I don't remember this, I, uh, I actually uh, gave you my wife's phone number by mistake. <laughs> How can I forget? How can I forget when anybody gives me their wife's phone number? <laughs> no, I, we were talking, and I, I wanted to see you had a picture of you. I was Evil Knievel. So I love Evil Knievel, and you, it was you dressed up as a screen test for Evil Knievel, and you're like, I'll send it to you, but don't show it. And I go, yeah, because it's us. I go, great. And I can remember my number, so I go, and I just rattled off my number, which I thought was mine, but it was my wife's. And uh, halfway and through... And so I sent, yeah, so I send a photo of me full dressed. This is like my, my camera test of Evil Knievel. Not test, like, we were two days away from filming. I was blonde. I was hairy chested. I was everything. And, uh, yeah, I didn't put anything. I just sent a photo. Yeah. And then I got the, who is this? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> My wife was laughing about it afterwards. I was like, I'm sorry. I just gave uh, Milo Ventimiglia your phone number. <laughs> it's so weird. Uh, but anyways, we're big fans of the house. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, yeah. It, I'm sure it went over great. <laughs> is, this your, is this your office? Or is this where? where have you yeah, this is, uh, this is my office at home in Los Angeles. I'm just, you know. Got some some artwork on the walls, some Michael Mueller some stuff, just kind of hanging out. Looking, There's things on like every wall. I'm looking at one sign that I can see in the upper left hand corner because you know I'm a fan of yours since Gilmore Girls, and it says, "Oh yeah, yeah, right here." I love, I love Dean. I love, it Dean. Says, uh, <laughs> I love Dean forever. <laughs> And that's, that was the certificate uh, that you get when you're nominated for an Emmy. Oh, my gosh. Is that, is that yeah. rubbing it in his face? What is that? <laughs> no, no, not at all. I mean, you know, Jared and I, Jared and I are really good friends. And I made the sign for some photograph that was somebody was looking for online or something. And so I, I, I made the sign. And after I made it, I just said, well, let me just hang on to this because this is cool. And I literally just kind of stuck it right onto my <laughs> Emmy notification. That was, you know, Oh, it just happened wall, to be so. there. Yeah, just no big deal. It just happened to be there. Yeah, no big deal. Yeah, yeah. no big deal. <laughs> uh, but I want to talk about uh, This Is Us. Uh, but I also want to uh, uh, thank you for doing the stuff you do for Red Nose Day uh, on NBC. Yeah. It's, it's, a, it's a big deal. And, uh, and, man, you've been with them for a couple years now doing uh, some, some good work. Yeah, I mean, you know, I've been in the NBC family for a very long time, and NBC has always supported Red Nose Day. So, you know, in 2019, it's wild. Like, I keep thinking 2019 was last year, but it wasn't. Yeah, I know. Um, we all but in 2019, <laughs> I, uh, I got a chance to actually go and see uh, how the donations were benefiting these kids in pretty impoverished places. And, um, yeah, we were in, uh, in Kenya and seeing kids getting inoculated, for like very, very simple uh, uh, sickness and disease that kids shouldn't have to deal with, but you know, they're in bad situations. Um, I, I really was able to see firsthand what the organization was doing to better the lives of these kids. Well, thank you so for doing I'm that. I'm still in vibe with them, yeah. Uh, I want to talk about um, This Is Us. You never tell me what's gonna happen, which is, I understand. But my question for you is, do you know what you're doing? <laughs> this year? Yeah. Yeah, do I know what I'm doing? No, I mean, you definitely know. know what you're doing, but... Usually, Dan Fogelman, he'll, he'll come to set, and this is the difference between, let's say, COVID set versus uh, normal filming set. In a COVID set, Fogelman doesn't visit, so we don't get that sitting around the campfire, Dan having just walked out of the writer's room saying, you guys want to know what happens in the next seven or eight or nine episodes. So we don't really have that this year. So I'm kind of like in the dark. I, I know that next season is supposed to be it's the final season, the series finale. That, that's, that's what we're hearing, yeah. Yeah. So do you know anything about that? Or is this oh, the yeah, way? Oh, yeah, totally. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, of course, of course you do. I do want to show a clip. Uh, here's Milo Ventimiglia in tomorrow night's episode of This Is Us. Take a look. Hey, man. Hey. Hey, so I got the hot chocolate. Huh? 
got the corn syrup for the candy apples, and I bought every box of string lights they had at the hardware store. That's my guy. Hey, do you favor and look at this? I mean, did I get these letters even? Yeah? You spelled carnival wrong. I... <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> it looks great, man. Great's not good enough, Miguel. I need this proposal to be perfect. Jack, you are recreating your first date with Rebecca in her apartment. It's exactly the kind of romantic gesture that makes other guys hate you. Come on, other guys don't hate me. Yeah, they do. <laughs> yeah, they do. No, they don't. We love you. <laughs> hey, you got to give my best to Mandy as well, because I know she's uh, a new mom, and yeah. that's so cool. Uh, we love it's her. It's exciting. She actually, baby, uh, baby Gus was on set the other day last week, and it was exciting. It was exciting to see her as a mom. Yeah. I mean, we've been playing parents for so long, but like, yeah, she's a mom. She's a real mom. That's fantastic. Uh, give her my best. Uh, Milo Ventimiglia, everybody. Hey, hey.